Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number 12, the box tool. As an operator of the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine, you will be required to set up and run parts that require the use of the box tool. The purpose of the box tool is to turn diameters on the workpiece when dimensional accuracy and surface finish are important. This is a box tool holder. The purpose of the two rollers is to support the bar stock being turned down by the cutting tool. The box tool mounts into the box tool holder. The cutting action occurs as the tool holder is moved forward by the turret. Each of the rollers must be set to put an equal amount of pressure on the bar stock to maintain part size and surface finish. The rollers will also burnish the surface of the part. The cutting edge of the box tool is positioned ahead of the rollers on the first box tool used in a setup. The front of the bar is usually chamfered when using a box tool. The chamfer is necessary since the stock will not be supported by the rollers at the beginning of the cut. This will cause less cutting pressure and keep the bar properly aligned until the rollers have time to contact the workpiece. The cutting tool must be placed on center to cut properly. On some box tool holders, you will place the tool on center by placing the cutting edge on the center line of this roller. When the tool is properly centered, the tool clamp screws should be tightened securely. On other box tools, a centering gauge will be provided. Place the box tool into the holder. Place the gauge over one end of the holder and slide the tool into the holder until it contacts the gauge. Tighten the set screws securely. The cutting tool must also be positioned in the tool holder. This tool holder has a scale which shows graduations from zero to one half inch. This tool holder can be used on stock with a maximum diameter of one half inch. Loosen the clamp screw. Then adjust the tool so it will be close to but not cut the bar on the first cycle. Lock down the clamp screw securely. These two screws will be adjusted in the machine to control the depth of cut of the box tool. They are adjusted by loosening one screw and tightening the other. The first step in setting up the box tool holder is to mount it in the proper position in the turret. Snug down the clamp bolt at this time. Release the turret locking latch and rotate the turret to be sure the box tool does not contact the machine or any other tools. Next, back off both rollers so they will not contact the bar stock during the cutting cycle. These nuts hold the rollers in position and must be loosened before trying to move the rollers. Mount and center the box tool as shown earlier if it has not already been set on the bench. You are now ready to make machine adjustments for the box tool. Move the feed out trip dog to prevent stock from being fed out. Start the machine and disengage the drive shaft after the box tool is indexed into position. Hand crank the machine to the high point of the box tool lobe on the lead cam. You can now adjust the length of cut for the box tool. Measure from the end of the bar to set the length of cut. 
Remember, this dimension will be the distance on the part that is not required to be turned by the box tool. Loosen the turret clamp bolt and adjust the box tool holder as required. Then, re-tighten the turret clamp bolt. Engage the feed-out trip dog. Start the machine and stop it just before stock feeding occurs. Move the stock stop closer to the spindle with the turret hand lever and engage the drive shaft. Allow the machine to feed out approximately one half inch of stock beyond the cutoff tool then disengage the drive shaft. Hand crank the machine to the low point of the box tool lobe on the lead cam. Advance the turret with the hand lever to make a trial cut approximately one eighth of an inch long on the bar end. Stop the spindle and measure the workpiece. Increase the depth of cut until you cut the bar three to five thousandths of an inch under size. Adjust the tool using the depth adjusting screw until you have cut the bar to this dimension. Start the spindle and advance the box tool into position over the previously made cut. With the spindle turning, adjust each of the rollers down until they contact the workpiece and start to rotate. Tighten down the rollers with the holding nuts. Be sure the rollers are not too tight against the workpiece. The rollers should stop rotating if you apply slight finger pressure on them. Your next step is to make adjustments to get the proper part size by backing off the tool depth adjusting screw. The depth adjusting screw will have to be backed off the amount that the part was cut under size and then locked down again. You may need to make several adjustments until you get a part to size. Run the machine under power through the box tool cycle. Stop the machine and check the part for dimensional accuracy. As with all attachments, you may have to make final adjustments at this time. After you have machined six parts, check the box tool to be sure the rollers still have equal pressure on the bar stock. This completes your television training tape on the box tool. You may watch this tape as many times as you need to understand the material. Return to the operator booklet for your next step when you have finished.